I can remember carrying a gas mask every day to school and hiding in bomb shelters. When I was 12 years old, my young cousin got hit by a stray bullet. It was life-changing. I was immediately convinced that I wanted to pursue a career in the medical field. My story is a story of many cultures from different continents, four different alphabets, and six languages. From a poor neighborhood in Georgia in the Soviet Union to the doorstep of Stanford University, the immigrant journey I've lived so far has influenced every part of me. Optogenetics is a tool used to turn certain cells in the brain on or off with light, which my lab uses to study epilepsy. I designed and developed an approach which enabled me to block seizures without affecting normal brain activities between seizures. This work was the first to reveal that seizures can be instantaneously aborted in real time. My ultimate goal is to find treatments for incurable and debilitating brain diseases, including epilepsy, autism, and Alzheimer's disease. The United States is really a place of meritocracy. Working as a scientist here depends on how good you are and not on nepotism, color, gender, citizenship, or religion. I grew up in a place where some of my family could not attend medical school because they were Jewish, a place where my great-grandfather was sent to gulags because he was a Christian priest. But this is a country that will respect your ideas and respect what you can bring to the table. I love listening to brain cells, and I love transferring my passion and knowledge to the next generation of researchers, promoting curiosity and critical thinking. As an interculturalist, I enjoy the diversity of learning styles and the unique perspectives. We all have something to learn from each other, and the world is so big.